Take seven. Hi, this is Stefan from Animated Space where we create stylized art and today we'll be creating the sky. Now you may be wondering, are we creating this? Or maybe this? Or this? No, what we'll be doing is replacing the default sky that comes with Unity with this from the concept art. Now the only thing left is figuring out how to accomplish this. Hmm, a skybox? I think I got it. Now that I have an idea how it's done, let's begin by opening Photoshop. In Photoshop, let's create a 4K texture file as we can always load this in engine if needed. With the resolution set, let's now construct a gradient that will act as the background. We also need clouds, lots of clouds. Now that we have the base of the clouds, let's turn it into a 3D layer. When turning it into a 3D layer, make sure to select the right layers. If you need access to edit the 2D file, double click the spherical map. You will also notice now that you have two files. If you make a change in the 2D file, you will also see it in the 3D layer. Until it looks right, we'll have to go back and forth between Photoshop and Unity. Now that we're in Unity, let's take the file we imported from Photoshop and turn it into a cube. Once it's turned into a cube, we can drag it into the scene and it will become a skybox. Whew. Oh, whew. Okay, the main problem is solved. We have a working skybox. However, looking at it, the clothes are way too big. So let's figure that out. Hmm, what should we do? Hmm. We need to figure out where the clothes are. Since the clothes are way too big, that means we have to shrink them. And to shrink them, we have to figure out the exact area they are on the 3D layer in Photoshop. So what if we draw a square on the 3D layer and then re-import it back to Unity and let's see how that works. That's a good idea, let's try that. Drawing the squares worked, so now we have an idea of scale and how dense the clothes have to be. So let's go back to Photoshop and fix it. We also have to fix the color, everything looks a bit too washed out. The colors were too light in Unity, so let's add a gradient over the clouds to make them darker. Let's add some smaller clouds with some different color variations so as to get that blend we need in Unity. Let's also clean up the transitions for when the skybox rotates. Yes, that worked. The clouds are perfect. Now let's create a script to get them to rotate. Now that we're 
in Visual Studio Code, let's delete start. As this will be a continuous movement, it won't just happen one time when we press play. We also need to create a float that we can change in the Unity Editor. With that done, let's focus on getting the skybox to rotate. To do this, let's access the skybox render settings and create a float variable. Then we'll add a string of code that controls the speed at which the skybox rotates at. With that piece of code added, the script is complete. Let's do our final reveal. Yup, that's it. We've completed the sky. Thanks again for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you like more exclusive content, you can check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Peace.